and Zendis, it's time for Dance for Dear Tangles, a fun series on my YouTube channel. Join me to create a Zentangle mini project using just two tangles. This is our Dance for Dear Tangles project number 26. You can watch all our previous projects from this series on the playlist Dance for Dear Tangles. I'm Samya Manne, I'm an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. In this channel, we talk about creating and practicing Zentangle, my own Zentangle inspired artworks and collections. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on any videos that I post here every Tuesdays. For today's project, we are working with tangles Daisy Me and Scallops. I will be using my white square tile, black pen, pencil and stuff. So grab the supplies and let's get started on the tangle now. Okay, so here's my white square tile. And a black 01 micron. Zero 08 black micron for adding the blacks and darks. Here's my pencil and stuff. So these are our supplies for today's project. So we are working with triangles Daisy Me and Scallops. Okay, so let's start with um, adding our strings. I'm not making any border. Just going about adding a, a string, so which is a set of two lines at the bottom. So it's two set of parallel lines. So this will be the space where we will be creating our daisy. So I'm going to use my pencil to kind of get started with, to make that curve, uh, that wave. So now I'm going to use my pen and just go over it. So that the pencil line just gets got me started. Um, so I'm going to use my pen to continue making the wave. Now on the upper section, I'm going to make the wave in such a way that it, it faces the bottom wave. Bring it down and then it. It touches down with that, and now, so now we have this way made in two lines. And uh, we get started with on the daisy me. Let's start with a half circle right in the center, or right at. And I'm going to add. Petals. So I start with the center petal and then about maybe two or three on each side. So let's get started. So I've got two and the third one, I'm not going to finish. I'm just going to like, make half of it and leave it there. Let's do the same on the other side. Okay, so okay, that is done. Now those little gaps between the petals, either you can add solid black or you can add circles and then go back and fill in those teeny tiny um, drops there. So go ahead and add the black.
So we're going to repeat the same thing in the other two sections as well. Now I'm going to go about doing the same thing at the bottom part. Then make the half circle. And then start with the petals. So two plus one, three petals on each side. So I'll go about adding the circles between the petals and then filling in sort of black and those things on the top. I'm also adding solid black in the center most um, section. So now let's go ahead and continue doing this on the other sections as well. So start with the half circle. And the petals. Circle on the other side, on the petals. And then we can add the circles behind the foot, between the petals. Okay, so now do the same thing on the other side as well. So we still need to add black in the center section.
this now we're going to do the same thing on this side so wherever we have the free time i'm going to start making the half circle and then we go about adding the copy and so the bottom side we will start with the half circle at the end of the side and just now that that loop coming up go ahead finish adding these settings and both the sides Okay, so continue adding letters and circles in between the circles. And if you do the same thing in the bottom section. So the half circle um, falls on the line. So that's the that's the trick. Here's the pattern with lovely and it's all done. And it's time to add the blocks, those teeny tiny gaps.
finish it up with adding the glass. Okay, so it is a daisy, daisy me. It's lovely. Beautiful border tangle. So now let's start with our next tangle, scallop. I'm going to add scallop on top of daisy me. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a down use. I'm making upside down U shape, nice and big. So I got about six of these. And then I start adding more scallops, the second layer, which goes between, well, I was kind of alternate, and goes between the first layer. Okay. And let's go ahead and add one more layer. Okay, this is fourth layer. Okay, so now I'm going to start adding inner auras for her.
Okay, so now it's all done. I'm gonna go back in and add solid black in the innermost section. The innermost the first aura, but okay, the innermost aura. So go ahead and use the perfect pen. This adds a lovely contrast. So there it is, all dark. Now let's get the shading. We have the scallop. Like that. It looks very lovely. I love the way it looks um, very intricate and filled uh, in. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add a little detail inside of the wing, the line, and a dot as a little bit do for pluck. Okay, so to the time, finish that for all the, all the flowers. Okay, all
Okay, so let's start with shading. I'm adding pencil around the aura line, aura circle for Daisy Me. So I didn't add the pencil around that and then gently blend it. So we have the black and then the white and then the pencil gray. Like the way this looks now. Now for Caleb, I'm going to add the pencils right above the resume. With not creating a layer there, pushing scallops down. Stop. Let's just blend this. Okay, now I can see two different layers. Now with my pencil, we're going to create more layers, uh, you know, put in scallops. So I'm just going around the U shape with the pencil. Notice I'm not going all the way down because um, we have the black and having the pencil over the black is not going to make any difference. So I'm just going to go along. The upside of term curve for the pencil until the black. You can actually already see the, the layers standing. So you have to do the, uh, the blending with the stuff, but you can already see how it's starting to look. So I'm adding the pencil in the final layer. Now let's use the stuff and start blending. You can see the steps and see the layers. Finally, okay, there it is. Well done. No love to be. Hope you had fun on this project with me. I would love to see your creations. So, head on to our Facebook group, Zen, where all the after party fun happens. Share your creations there and check out the works by other Zen. If you're sharing your works on social media, then please do tag me at Samya Mane or hashtag Tango with Samya so I get to see your lovely works there. A quick note, these projects and these videos are for your personal use and no part of this can be used for any kind of commercial purposes. To understand the Zentangle method and to get started on your own Zentangle journey, check out my website www.sanyamanestudio.com for classes, courses and workshops. I highly recommend you start with a beginner's workshop which is called the Fundamentals of Zentangle. Now, if you are on Instagram, then join me on my Instagram handle at Sanya Manne to uh, receive studio updates. 
um, and uh, I would also like you to click on the link in the description that's called Tangle Toothlish to receive a free gift and get updates uh, about all the cool things that I do across social media by coming. Um, now it's time to leave a comment. So please comment below and let me know how you enjoyed this project because that really helps me plan out my next set of videos. Also, it's time to show some love, so hit that like button, share the video and subscribe to the channel. I shall see you next on a Tuesday with another set of Geo Tangles. Until then, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.